Hello everyone. I'm going to tie today a uh, little emerger pattern that I like. It's a kind of an, a click and hammer style and it's going to be tied. Body's going to be out of olive thread. Tail is going to be small rooster saddle and let's get started. First thing, uh, the hook is a size 16 and it's a curved shank hook. And first thing I'm gonna do is start my thread just about two eye lengths back from the eye and wrap all the way down the bend of my hook. And I'm going to just find me some uh, <clears throat> tail fibers here off the side of my saddle. And pull some of them off. And like I say, these are going to be some short tails again. I'm going to just tie them in right there at the end of the hook. And then I'm going to just make the body basically out of my thread. Again, I'm going to make that nice taper body. I'm going to flatten my thread some by counter spinning it and start forming my body. I'm gonna come back down to about a third and three eye lengths of the of the hook shank. I'm gonna take a small piece of thread. I'm gonna loop it, double it. And try to tie this on right on top. And you want some really good wraps when you're tying this down or your thread will pull out on you. Lots of times I'll double it over. The tag ends, I'll just double them over just to kind of give it a little bit more security and we'll clip. I'm going to split my thread, or not split it, but get my loop. You can see I have a loop. I'm going to catch it with my little alligator clip and hold it up out of my way. And I'm going to take small saddle hackle. Strip the ends down a little ways up. There we go. Make sure you have some good firm wraps. And now I'm going to just tie this up to my thread. I left a little bit of bare spot on my hackle here 
that I'm catching and wrapping up my thread. And like I say, just take your time. Come up, I come up about five routes, and then I start working my way back down. To build me a little base to wrap my ankle around. And when I get back to the hook, I'll come up over behind my thread and then back in front. And I'm going to take me some small amount of fine dubbing. And make me a little dubbing noodle for a thorax. And then I'm going to start wrapping my, make me a thorax. And I'm going to start right here at the base of that thread. I'm just going to kind of work forward, then back to my thread base. Just give me a And I'm going to stop right there. Now I'm going to wrap my ankle around my thread. I'm going to go about six turns. I'm going to go actually about nine. I'm going to go down and I'm going to come back up. And I'm going to work my way back down. And I'm going to catch my tackle right here on the side. Make me good two wraps and then wrap it back to the eye of the hook. I'm going to clip my tackle off. And right here, be careful, don't clip your thread. And I'm going to pull my thread out. And I'm going to. Pull it up. And over. And catch your thread. And again, you want some good, firm thread wraps on this. And again, I'm going to just kind of double my thread back over, my couple wraps back over it, and come back over and make a couple wraps. I'm going to do a whip finish. Again, I'm a believer in two whip finishers, just adding some security to it. And there's your nice little emerger pattern to try next time when fish are feeding on emergers. Might try this and uh, use it behind a regular dry fly but that's just a nice little emerger pattern that i tie and has worked for me on when fish are real picky and feed mainly on emergers thank y'all very much